Here on Delmarva, we are known for seafood. We have many chefs stop by the Delmarva Life Kitchen and make tasty oysters and delicious crab cakes. But as you may know, there are different seasons for fresh seafood. Next month begins rockfish season. So how about if we get an early taste? Chef Thomas O'Neill with Susan Highbridge Restaurant in Herlock joins us today. Thank you so much for coming in. Always a pleasure. What are we making? <laughs> uh, we're going to do pan seared rockfish with a lemon bourbon. A uh, lemon what? Uh, butter sauce. Butter sauce, okay. That's right. Well, <laughs> we, were, yeah, we, we were actually uh, talking about bourbon. Yeah. And, you know, what I it was. And it, yeah. It's a butter sauce. Yeah, okay. it's just white butter sauce. White butter sauce, yep, okay. We're going to translate it. So, so actually, what do we do first? probably the first thing, I've already done the work here, but this is just white wine, lemon, and shallots. Yeah. And then you got to let that go for a while and let it reduce. That let was it, actually okay. about half of that wine. Oh, really? That's reduced down to, as you can see, it's just oh, basically okay. like a syrup. Okay, okay. okay. Right. The other half's for me. All of that is you. Okay, good. But you have to share the it with the receptionist, the... too, because the receptionist saw the bottle of wine and just... <laughs> Sissy, I, I believe it's right, her I gotta, I gotta do something here. What am I doing? Um, I've also mm. got a pan heating. This has to get really hot. Okay. Why? It's essential, because you have to get a nice crust on the fish, because that's where you develop flavor on something Just leave it on there longer. Here. It doesn't work right. No, that's not how it works. Okay. All right, so there's some oil, some vegetable oil. Okay. And salt and pepper. All right. I'm going to get that on the fish, put it directly on, on the fish. fish. Oh, yeah, on the fish, not in the pan. No, this is nonstick, so you don't need it. If you were okay. using something that wasn't nonstick, you might want to put a little bit just for insurance. Right. Okay. Okay, so. You can start adding that butter All just a little bit, a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Yeah, okay. and then you have to stir constantly, otherwise the oh, butter otherwise, will separate. Okay. Yeah, so you keep whisk, doing that. Should I whisk it or stir it? Or? Whisk it, yep, and then just keep adding butter and butter okay. and butter. Yeah, salt and pepper, Jimmy. And, and then is it just. Yep. Is this like to flavor or yeah. whatever you like? I mean, yeah. it's not a recommended... Well, I mean, I prefer a lot of black pepper, but... Do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do, too. See, me and you. Well, go crazy, man. Same, same mold right there. Yep, and just as much salt as you'd like to. I wouldn't go crazy with salt. Yeah, I know. We don't want to do that. <laughs> That's a look Your doctor might frown on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep, keep going. You keep don't want going? to add too much. Or... See, I'm trying to stretch this out to get... Okay, okay. Thing you've, you've gone too far much enough. Right. Come on. Well, you just don't want to add too much because then the heat gets out of control and, and okay. the, the oh. butter separates, and that's kind of important. All right, Timmy, you're playing now. <laughs> you got to do like the guy on the internet memes. Yeah, yeah see, I never could do that. I can't Well, it's, it's really okay. All right, Timmy, you played so good enough. Enough. Oh. All right, now we're going to get this in the pan, which is actually <laughs> not even hot enough yet. Really? Oh, wow. okay. Uh -oh. All right. There you go. So what you want to hear when you do that is... <laughs> A big sizzle. Yeah, basically. Okay. Which actually it's starting it's to go. It's starting right to now. right yeah. now. Yeah. It's starting to sizzle right now. Now this being the induction side, it's gonna it'll heat it, up. Fast it picks up quick, yeah. yeah. And then you can probably add it a little bit quicker than that. We're gonna pick up the heat on that as well. <laughs> so now we're starting soon, to sizzle now. How soon do you want what what am I looking for? Am I looking for anything in particular before I flip it? Well, yeah, before you flip it, you're gonna let it go for a few minutes. Um, you'll see it start to brown right around the outside. You see how that's brown? Right, yeah. Right around the outside, you'll see that around the outside. Don't touch it before that. Okay. Otherwise, it won't brown up right, and you don't want to turn it multiple times. You want it to get nice and brown on one side before you do anything to it. One turn. That's right. One turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right. if you're not sure, like if you flip it and you're not sure that it's going to cook entirely before it burns on the bottom, just pop it in the oven for a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Just, you know, just be safe. All right. Easy solution. And that looks like it's about done. Okay. So you can go ahead and take that off of the heat. <laughs> And if you want, let's get another container. I actually spilled that. a little bit of butter on the burner there. Oh, I don't so. think anybody will get hurt by that. <laughs> Is this the part where I tell a, a joke? Yes. Have that. No, you never know. <laughs> You've been here more often than that. You know better. <laughs> All right. So All am right. I going to pour that in there? Uh, actually, you're going to want to strain it so that you can get the uh, shallots and the lemon oh, out. Oh, okay. Nobody wants about chunks that. in their butter. Okay. Ooh, oh, that looks that so good. Yeah, and the good thing about actually a beurre blanc in general, it doesn't have to be lemon. You could use that for garlic, you could put herbs in it, you could do whatever you wanted. The applications are limitless. Oh. So, and actually, this is all about application. Like with the fish, it doesn't have to be rockfish. You can do that with tuna, you can do it with flounder, you can do it with any kind of fish, salmon. Really? Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Now, while this is cooking there, do I want to salt and pepper this side too? or? Uh, you could if you wanted enough? to, but if you did the one side enough, right. then you wouldn't really have to. Go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're getting close. Uh, yeah, you can see a little brown. brown. Good. Ready to go? Yeah. And just go in there and flip it. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. It could be a little browner, but that's good enough. But you knew I was hungry, didn't you? Uh, that's that is correct. See, he's watching out for me here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna cook on the second side. Mm -hmm. It's and all it's, really starting to come together. Yeah, and it'll it's take really about nice. you know four or five minutes on either side. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we're going to give this delicious-looking meal a try.